Hey up 30 pips and uh, I'm back here at Braggart Park. Get myself a little bit of a special treat. So I've been around most of Braggart Park. I've sort of seen it all, but there's one or two things that I've never seen. And this is my chance and my opportunity to go out the tower of old John. So I've got the Canon 5D Mark III, the 17 to 40 mil L lens, and that's it. I'm travelling light. It's the first time I've been out in about six weeks, so I'm feeling a little rusty, a bit unfit. So I don't want to overdo it. So along with the tour, you get to go up the tower, to have a look inside, see how it all works probably a little bit of a talk, a bit of history and then a walk around some of the park. So I'll, I'll take plenty of photos, I'll do some vlogging and we'll see how it goes. That's all I can say. I'll see you in the park. Cheers! So just after that video there, um, all hell let loose. It was absolutely crazy. The rain just came down and poured on us for the whole trip. So unfortunately I could not do any photography, not because the camera couldn't withstand the weather conditions, just because I didn't want to, it was, it was just crazy. I couldn't vlog because the microphones. So what I did, I decided to go back out today um, and do a smaller version of the walk and put some of the images in. The good thing about it is it got me out. It's been it's been too long. Um, it's just been way too long. But it was So here I am in front of Old John and when I was here Saturday we managed to get inside, have a look round, go up the stairs. It's great to see it with uh, the windows open, it's just, it just makes a completely different view of the, the place. Um, but yeah, the rumour is there was a windmill here before and this guy called John, he was like the main dude in the windmill, he was the, the best miller so, and he's apparently such a nice guy. So what they did is when the mill closed and he passed on, they decided to put this as a remembrance folly for him. Now that's a romantic story, I don't know how true it is. And they did it in the shape of a beer mug because he liked his brew. So they'll either, hopefully, I'll do one next to it for me in the teacup, because I love my tea, or maybe a camera, right? who knows? Um, but yeah, that's the be all and end all. Take a look at these images I took on sat there, uh, inside, and uh, it'll give you some sort of feel to how it was.
and you know what the good thing is they're decorating it now in there uh, that's why all these uh, this tapes around it and this jeeps here so I'm glad I went in Saturday when it was really rustic all the plaster had sort of dried and it was it was like quite grungy looking so yeah uh, but it makes for a, a great little tour so the tour started just down uh, at the gate where the deli bus is and uh, then we walked here we went inside and then we went down to the bottom let's go and have a look where the stables are Wow, so these were the old stables where they used to keep the horses because what old John became was a platform for uh, basically the rich that loved the horse racing and they built a horse track all the way around old John and they'd look out them windows that we've seen and uh, just watch the racing and then at the end of the race the horses would be fed, cooled down, watered in these stables wow how the rich live it's amazing so we've got these little pod the podded areas here and what these are called was um these are called well, i'm going to call them sh little shires within the park now they were to prevent the deers from basically ruining the land and uh the trees what they do is scratch and bite and eat the trees so they made these these areas and there's many many around the park this being old john i'm going to call it a shire i can't remember what it's called it's got a proper name um, but i'm going to call them pods and i'm going to call them shires and i'm going to call them all sorts of things everything but the thing it is called and uh we'll just take it from there so yeah this one's old john shire okay and if you look just down there where them trees are that's another one there you can just see these trees here this tree line and if you look down there there's one two three four five little trees in front but all that big meadow at the back there that's another one there's one over there as well now what we'll do is we'll walk to another one but we're going to walk through old john shire and then we'll pop out the other end to the memorial and we'll uh we'll take it from there So after coming through, after coming through the uh, Shire Pod, Old John, we we come to the memorial. Now, what happens here a lot is people ask for permission for having their ashes spread. Now, the the rangers like to keep it here because it's not nice for anybody that wants to walk through the park or play or lay or eat. So they always try and keep it here if they can. And they was telling me that if you ask for permission, they'll bring you up in the Land Rover and, it, and they do everything for you. It's absolutely perfect. So it's a nice thing. It's a nice thing. And there it is there. Let's see if we can get a nice moody shot with that sky.
So on the walk, we came by this, um, it's molten lava and magma, which came up through the ground and formed this rock formation. Now it's full of fossils. And what people were doing was they were trying to pop them out and take the fossils away, but it's protected now and nobody can do that. And they're absolutely gorgeous rocks. I absolutely love them. So, and if you've seen the, um, the they're not the Bardon one, the Beacon Hill one, where I showed you the, about the volcanoes. Well, this was the molten lava that was pushed underground from the volcano, came up through the ground and formed this. So it originally came from Barden, Barden Hill, which is them two. They call it the tall ship of Leicester because you can see the two masts that look like a tall ship. And that's Barden Hill, just to the left of that. And that's where the original volcano was. So once we're done, as you can see, that's a that's a really nice view. So we've just walked, uh, we've just walked down the, the, this hill here, and um, that's where we were at the memorial there. But then the fossil rock uh, before that is old John's uh, Shire Pod, whatever you want to call it. And then we've just walked straight down here, and we're going to go into now the court this the Tavistock, and the reason why is because there's a place in London called Tavistock. You know, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, I'm not sure, but I know somebody will put me right, or put us all right. And it's where they did the hanging, the hung criminals. And they called that after this, sorry, they called this after that, because what they did was, when the dogs, the hunting dogs, when they was too old to do anything, they hung them killed them off and this is the area here and you know what you do get a strange feeling about the place I don't know what it is as you get in closer you do feel something it's really quiet quite airy even though we're in the middle of the day I've never been in here
oak trees. They say it takes 300 years for them to grow, 300 years to live, and 300 years for an oak tree to die. This oak tree is 600 years old, and it's, I mean, just look at it, it's, it's crazy. It's decayed, it's, it just looks a mess. So what they've done is they've decided to sort of give it this wood chip, which what I'll do will protect it and it'll also give it uh, moisture and, and substance. Now what they don't want you to do is to walk on it. So they say, can you walk around it? Um, which is not a problem. And it's a beautiful tree to photograph. So a good tip to remember is when you're doing any sort of photographer, it's always good to just take a look around your, uh, your subject to see what other angles or what other lines or leading lines you can find. And you know, it only takes a second, but sometimes we forget to do that. And you know what? Your best pictures normally come from your, uh, your accidents. And I think we've just got a beautiful shot. This bit was crazy because it was absolutely chucking down with rain. It was mental. So we were looking for somewhere to get a little bit of shelter. Although it just felt like we'd got out of a shower. It, it was mad. So, but then we got down to this section here and it was brilliant. I absolutely loved it. So we're just chatting along. We're talking about trees and uh, all of a sudden, it comes across this tree and it is absolutely fantastic. Let me show you. So what we actually did was when we did the walk is if you can just see, I don't know if you can quite see it, there's like a red thing down there, some people and the ruins where well, we walked the other side of the ruins and we, we, met, we came down the slope, met path. Now I'm cutting that out, the reason why is it's just getting a little bit too late and I need to get back. So yep, we walked down to the ruins and then we just made his way to the tea room which is about another probably I don't know I don't know probably just like under half a mile and then we just took a straight route up and that that's and that was it basically and then we made our way basically the back of them trees so what we'll do is we're going to cut under this tree and then we'll we'll meet up on the path that I was actually on and I'll catch up with them and just let you know how things are there so we've so we've done a walk. Uh, we're ending where we started. Uh, we cut the we, we cut the loop out a little bit. Uh, I'll show you on the on the Google Map thing. But yeah, we're about done. I think we've cracked it. So there's old John, and we walked all the way around there, past the memorial and down. Job done. Right. 
let's get back to the car. Hey photo pips, so I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, at least it got me out and about, that's the main thing. So if you did, give us a thumbs up, share, like and all the other bits and bobs. If you want to follow us up on the Facebook, if you want to follow us on Instagram, it's all at the top of the page there in the border where it says it's nice to be here or uh, just click there and it will take you to any of the above uh, links. So uh, thanks again and uh, don't forget, <laughs> you know what it is, get out and shoot, you know you want to. Cheers, take care. I'll see you soon and thanks for all your comments and likes. Take care, bye.